M. Fletcher Brown with another artist video blog here at kicks96country.com and live today on the Kicks96 Facebook page. Uh, I'm here with uh, one half of the Wilson Brothers band, Chad Wilson. Hey, Welcome hey, hey. to Kicks96 Country. How are you? Thank you, Fletcher. How you doing, right. buddy? And Bobby Spence, how are you? How you doing? All right, so um, let's talk a little bit about, um, we'll get to you know the current single, Loving You, Loving On Me, uh, which is fairly self-explanatory. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about the new album, but I want to go back and introduce you to the Kix96 listing audience. Um, the Wilson Brothers Band, where, where do you and your brother Kyle hail from? We come from a small town in Alabama, Alexander City. Alexander City. Now, you might know that's that's not too far from Birmingham. That's like uh, just outside Birmingham. Right? It's more known for uh, Lake Martin. Have you ever <laughs> you know the Lake Martin area? Never been there. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. Okay. Just about 30 minutes uh, north of Auburn. Okay. Oh, War Eagle. And, tired. Uh, oh well, <laughs> there was a there was a fifty fifty chance, but all right. <laughs> In any case, so uh, well now that's awkward. Yeah, that's but that's free, out of the that's way. A free dinner. Isn't well, it, so. well Kyle's, I, a, Kyle's a big Auburn fan, so we like, <laughs> we get this everywhere we go. How can one oh, of y'all really? be Alabama? One of y'all be Auburn? Well, but, Kyle, War Eagle. <laughs> Or Eagle, since you're not here. Or yeah. But we, um, no, we're thinking of you, buddy. Yeah, we're, we're thinking, thinking of you, buddy. So, now you guys, uh, you and your brother are, who's older? I'm the oldest. Or you're the oldest. Uh, which one of you played the Grand Old Opry at like a very young age? Was it you or was it? I did, yes. That was you. Was like, how did that happen? Was that, a, that was a music competition, right? It was. I entered a song, a song competition uh, in high school, and uh, turns out that I ended up top 10, and they invited all top 10 of the winners from around the country to come sing on the Opry, and I got the play my song live at the Grand Ole Opry, standing in that circle. I, you know, it was it was uh, pretty special. All right, and was that when you knew that uh, at a, what, the tender age of, what, 12, 13 years old, that this is what you wanted to do? Well, yeah. You know, we, we, we're, we're third generation uh, uh, musicians anyway. Mm -hmm. So music's really all we knew. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't think it was really a, a choice for us. Uh, it's just sort of what we grew up with, our grandparents. Obviously, we're, we're very successful in the Southern Gospel, uh, uh, you know, music business, and uh, our parents uh, were also uh, musicians, uh, a duo, and uh, so we grew up. I mean, when we were able to, to walk, you know, we were we were uh, going to concerts with either our parents or our mm -hmm. grandparents, and you know, the piano was played almost every day. So to us, it was a little different. We didn't really have to make a choice. It, it sort of it chose us, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, and we're fortunate for that because, uh, you know, we were taught what music's supposed to be mm -hmm. and uh, how it's supposed to make you feel, and uh, and uh, we had a lot of uh, inspiration. Our inspiration was our family. Have you always been country, or is there any rock influence in there? Or? Oh, there's some rock. There's a lot, lot of influence. So we were, you know, we were sheltered, uh, and I say that you know, with all due respect, mm -hmm. we were sort of raised in the church and, until we, we were teenagers. That's good. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And, no, 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 I don't think so. Mm -hmm. But we, were, we wasn't exposed to any other kind of music until then, mm -hmm. uh, other than Southern Gospel music. Mm -hmm. The first record that we ever heard outside of the Southern Gospel arena was Randy Travis. Oh, wow. When we heard Randy Travis... That's when we knew. That, 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 that's what touched us. That, we knew. Right then. Yeah, no greater inspiration than <laughs> no. that. Man. That's great. No. All right. Um, now, you guys uh, eventually moved, uh, you know, about the early to mid 2000s, you moved uh, to Nashville. You guys actually did a record in 2011, but it, for some reason, it got it slowed or was stopped. What, what happened there? Well, it never got released. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we, 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 we were still sort of trying to find, figure out who we were, mm -hmm. uh, both individually and as a sort of a duo. And, uh, you know, we, we was working with some great people, but it, it was, it just wasn't our time. Yeah. You know, and uh, uh, fortunately for us, we sort of, the record never got released and we went out and we spent some time as individual mm -hmm. artists. Uh, Kyle got a record deal, I cut a record. And, uh, you know, we, 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 we found out what we wanted and what we wanted to represent. Mm -hmm. So when Bobby here, who was responsible for getting us together, mm -hmm. um, when we come back together, uh, we, we realized that all that time that we spent apart finding ourselves, mm -hmm. it, was, it was for the greater good because uh, we, now we have that one goal, that one mission. We're very confident in what we put out what we represent and what we stand for. Well, Bobby, you he says you're responsible for putting them back together. What was it that you saw that you said, these these two guys need, well, 
to work together. You know, I've known these guys since they were teenagers, basically. And uh, about 20 years now, wouldn't you say? Oh, you ain't got to put t- okay. that many years on it. Okay. <laughs> gum, I, I we started measuring things in decades. <laughs> okay, anyway, yeah, a, couple, yeah. a couple of years ago. We Man, decided, I'm only 29 years old. So. <laughs> well, I'm a little less than that. But, but anyway, a couple of years ago, we decided to uh, try a rehearsal out and just try something out. Mm-hmm. And when we did rehearse, we realized at that point that we should have been doing this years ago. And the original material, that his first album, we started with that, and uh, went from there, and now we're here. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was just, it's been an amazing journey, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, these two guys are such amazing songwriters. And so when we listened to his original stuff that he had initially uh, at the, uh, about two years ago, it, it, was, it was not brain surgery. But this is what we had to do, mm-hmm. and this is where it's led us to it. Who, so, who writes more, you or, or, or your brother Kyle? Uh, well, nowadays we both write probably a, a lot equally. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I was a I, I started writing before he did, mm-hmm. uh, but once again, when he had his own uh, record deal and he went out on his own, um, he 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 grew up real fast. Yeah. You know, he that's when he became when he come back to Nashville. He he left for Texas and was part of the Texas country music scene. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, which is hard to get into if you're not from Texas. But I, I actually remember Kyle Wilson yeah. when, you know, uh, on the Texas chart. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. I do look at that chart, actually. Yeah. And he's still got friends out in Texas that are still cutting you know, his songs now. Mm-hmm. And I think he's got a song on the radio in Texas now as a songwriter. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, you know, that when he come back from Texas and uh, we, we got this back going, he was, he, he was all over it. All right. uh, matter of fact, the the... We we released a song before we released our radio song. We released a song to CMT, yeah, um, exclusively, and uh, uh, he he had wrote that that song while he was in Texas, and it became his or our first hit. That mm-hmm. it went number one on CMT, and uh, he you know that that was sort of his validation, okay. you know. I think it was and, all uh, of our validation. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you know, as a songwriter, yeah. it, I got more yeah. more uh, you know, yeah. but yeah, you know. It, He's just as good a songwriter as as, as, as you'll you'll get. Yeah. All right. Well, let's talk about the single "Loving You, Loving on Me." Uh, is that a co-write or? We how? both. Yeah, that's a co-write. We uh, now that we're you know he's back in Tennessee, we're we're, we're writing a lot together, and uh, yeah, he come over to the house. So that's uh, not one that you had in your pocket. That's like one that you've written since you've been back together as a duo. Yep. All right, so that's that's a, a true new collaboration. That's a new one. All right, so are you guys, either of you, like on the on the album, are you bringing in stuff that you wrote separately and be like, hey, let's try this song together and mm-hmm. see if that works? Yeah, are we did. That? We did on this first record, and uh, we had some really cool success with it, so we're going to expand on that on, the, on this next one. Okay. Uh, we've been writing music for the next record for the past year, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm... Real excited to get some of this new music recorded. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that that song was one of the uh, new ones that we wrote. We wrote we wrote that and right before we started recording uh, this record, and uh, it, you know it, it come easy. Sometimes a song is can come to you easily, and sometimes uh, not so easily. Mm-hmm. Uh, he he just stopped by the house one day. Him and a, another songwriter friend of ours, Davis Nix, and uh, Davis was sitting on the sofa, and I called Kyle out front. I said, "Dude, check this out," and I had this little hook. And it's a little melody, and you know, five minutes later, we had a complete song. Absolutely. If they were all that easy, <laughs> <laughs> if they were all that easy, we'd all be doing it. Yes. You know, no, we'd all be doing it. I, I would be doing it. <laughs> so, like, uh, so the Wilson Brothers Band, I mean, obviously, you're on your radio tour. You're coming and visiting uh, radio stations all over the place. What about um, uh, uh, performance tours? You guys on tour yet? Yes, we've, we've been on tour uh, for two. Uh, this is our second year on tour. We spent the large part of last year out on tour with uh, Corey Smith. Oh wow! Uh, he brought us. Oh, I love Corey Smith. We do too, man. We we, you know, it's now we've been with a lot of uh, big artists, too. But the thing about Corey is, uh, every night when we get done with our show, you, you know, you got a lot going on, and you don't really sometimes never catch the the headliner. Mm-hmm. But we made it a point. Yeah. Every oh, night yeah. to come back out and watch Corey at least a thir- thirty minutes of his set because the band's so good. But the thing about Corey is he uh, we we learned so much from Corey Smith, but yeah we uh, we've been we've been on tour last year we, we did some shows with Clint Black and Jack Ingram and a lot of big other people. Uh, this year we 
Right. Just just this, green. Yeah, just this past right. just this past week we uh was on a show in Pensacola, Florida with Rodney Atkins. Yeah. You know, he's got a new song out that mm-hmm. uh Something caught up in the country. Caught, caught up in the country is his currency. Uh-huh. Yep. And I was uh, going to say one thing about uh, Corey. Corey never, he never forgot the opener. He always. Oh no, he's great. He always. Missed he's yes. played. He's played in in our area here yeah. a time or two over the last few years, and uh, I've been a fan of his for a while, and I got to see him live yeah. the first time, and it was just one of the most amazing, you know, very concert very great, experiences. Very, uh, very, yeah, he's very cool to us. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're we're leaving here. Uh, we're headed to New York tomorrow. We're doing a. A thing for another big uh, radio station up in New York. They have this what they call the Inner Harbor Wing Fest, mm-hmm. and uh, I've heard so much about this, and uh, I cannot wait. I lo- I'm a big fan of chicken wings. Who is it? So we're playing a wing festival. <laughs> I mean, I, that's gonna be heaven. <laughs> That'll be on the bus. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna have to visit that wing. road trip. Yeah. Road trip. <clears throat> wing will be on the bus. But Budweiser has been good to us. They yeah. they put us on their tour this past mm-hmm. year. Um, we played. Many cities for Budweiser. Uh, this coming uh, after this week, starting next week, we start the uh, the Outlaw Nation yeah. concert series. We're, oh, wow. we're doing the Atlanta, uh, Georgia Music and Arts Festival. We're doing, I think we're doing like eight of those for for Outlaw Nation, and and uh, yeah, we we got we got a lot of good things going on, and a lot of good say, things coming up. It sounds like the Wilson Brothers Band. Is definitely a band that you need to be watching out for. They got big things coming. The single "Loving You, Loving Me" is doing very well. If you want to hear it, you call us at Kicks ninety six. We'll be happy to play it for you. Uh, and Kyle couldn't be here today, but Kyle, we want you to know that uh, you're missed, man. Yeah. Uh, and your brothers represented you well. All right. Uh, hopefully, we can get you guys to come back when you can both be we here. We sure will. We All sure right? will. Get us to play a song. But if you want to hear "Loving You, Loving Me," please make sure to call us Kicks ninety six. We're happy to play it for you. If you've got any new fans uh, at Kicks ninety six Country dot com, where do they find the Wilson Brothers Band online? Uh, all social media is Wilson Bros Band. That's B R O S Wilson Bros Band. But anything else that you need, that's Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. If you need anything else, our website is WilsonOfficial dot com. You can check out our tour. You can talk to us live if you want to. And, and one last thing, every Wednesday, we go live for our fans. Uh, so at some point later today, or here in just a little bit, on our Facebook page, Wilson Nation Live, if there's anything you guys want to hear, want to know, you just let us know, and uh, we'll be right there. Alabama native Ch- Chad Wilson, his brother Kyle Wilson. Hopefully we can get him back here at the Wilson Brothers Band. Bobby, thank you also for being here. No problem. And uh, thank you, bud. We look forward to another visit with uh, the full band. Maybe we can get them to play something live for us, right? Absolutely. In the meantime, check out Loving You, Loving On Me. Uh, It's available wherever you buy your music, and you can hear it at Kicks 96. And we'll catch you next time on another artist video blog at kicks96country.com.